Jesus Christ says that for eternal life, that they may know the only true God, not free, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. So Jesus Christ's God is the same God I worship. Jesus Christ, when he was in the garden of Azamani, I can't pronounce it, and he fell to his knees, forehead to the ground. How do Muslims pray? Yeah? Now, how many gods do Muslims worship? One. Jesus Christ was asked, what is the greatest of all commandments? He replied, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one. Did he say Father? Did he say Son? Did he say Holy Spirit? Did he say Trinity? No. He said what Moses taught. Moses came with ten commandments. What was the first commandment? Moses, Moses was in the law. We are in Christ now. Pardon? Moses was the law. We're not in the law again. But we still do what the commandments said, but we're not in the law. And um, the law is respected for sin. I don't know about that. All I know is Jesus did not teach Trinity. Go home, madam. Open your Bible. I'm, as a Muslim, I'm asking you to open your Bible. Open your Bible and look, look, look until you find me a verse where it says the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they're co-equal, they're the same. You will not find it. You find one verse. Go and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. This does not mean the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit are the same. Even Jesus Christ is praying to God. Yeah, my Father. The Father sent him. What does that mean? To deliver us. To help us. That's what Muslims believe. God Almighty sent Jesus Christ. Whoever follows him will get salvation. He came with guidance. He was a teacher. He's not the begotten Son of God. A man came running to him, said, Oh, good master. Jesus Christ said, Why do you call me good? Oh, the one who is God. We have that Jesus mind. Christ is saying, Why do you call me good? And you know the Bible. The Bible says, God is good. Yeah. Jesus Christ is saying, Why are you calling me good? So who's closer to paradise? Who's closer to God? Me, Muslims, or what you believe, or you? Once you believe, and you're not doing other things, other God, God, God will receive you, and you're doing good to other people. That's what I say. Who cares about good to other people? You have to be good and love others. You have to love every nature. Madam, no, 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 no. Open your Bible. Yeah? No, listen, you Mark 12, 28. No, no, no. Look. You don't love every nation then. Madam, first things first. First things first. Which is the first of all commandments? Jesus Christ replied. Jesus Christ replied, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one. Of course, we are is one. Everything is love him with all your heart and all your might. Yeah, we have that in our and love your brother like you love yourself. So what's first? We love God first. No. First is your Lord, our God is one. First is one. Then it's worship Him with all your might and all your heart. Then love your brother like you love yourself. My daughter was a Muslim. Pardon? We have a daughter. The son goes to 
Your dad became a Muslim. My daughter. One of my daughters. You're one of your daughters. I'm a family where I'm Muslim. Your daughter is going to go paradise. Where are you going to go? Paradise. Based on what? What do you believe? I believe in God. Is that enough? Eh? Is that enough? I'm praising him, that's all. I don't praise my other God, oh God. You don't even know how to praise him. One minute you're saying the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Next minute you're saying Jesus is the Son of God. Next minute... <laughs> no. Am I shouting? I'm shouting, my apologies. Well, you don't understand. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit is our comforter. When he was going up to his father, he sent the spirit. Jesus is not here, God is not here now. He's the spirit of God surrounding him all about helping us. And when when the rapture come, when the rapture come, God wants to take the righteous people up. You know that? Indeed. Madam, the Holy Spirit. Yeah? The comforter. What did Jesus say about the comforter? Was once he said, when I go, I will send the comforter for you. So, for the prophecy, for Jesus Christ to be right, for him to be truthful, for him to be honest, Jesus Christ said, I must leave you now, and then I will send the comforter. But, was the comforter, was the Holy Spirit not always there? The Holy Spirit is there now. Was the Holy Spirit not Holy there? Spirit want to leave the world when Jesus come back. Was the Holy Spirit? Not everybody want to go to heaven. Madam, stay on one topic, please. We're going to go to heaven. Yeah. One of us is going to go to heaven. We know me as well. Yeah. You have your your belief, and me have my belief. Jesus Christ said, "I must leave you now, and then send the Comforter." Yeah. Your belief is. The Holy Spirit was always there. The Holy Spirit is here, of course. Always so here. was the Holy Spirit Who is there? Helping us to be strong. Is the Holy Spirit? Was the Holy Spirit there when Jesus Christ was alive? When he was alive? Yes. No. So in the Bible. Who baptized Jesus? Stay on one topic, madam. Yeah? Because when you say who baptized Jesus, that opens up a new can of worms, which is a problem. What does it mean to be baptized? Uh, baptized in water. To be cleansed of your sins? Yeah. Did Jesus Christ sin? No. Who will baptize Jesus Christ then? What sin was on him? Adam was the first man that he sin. Okay. So, our sins on him, he got baptized. Yeah. Then why did he die on the cross? That's what you believe. Muslims don't believe he died on the cross. Not die on the cross, but the Jews, the Jews, them, them. Do you believe he died on the cross, madam? Yeah. For the sins of mankind? Listen me, the Jews, the Jews never believe in him. Them time there, before we come in the world, the Jews. Madam, leave never, the Jews. They never have that knowledge. Is Jesus Christ God or was he sent by God? He's sent by God. Okay. Is the Holy Spirit God? They are all Trinity in one. The Holy Spirit, everything in one. Okay. Yeah? So, you believe all in one. So the Father is God. The Holy Spirit is God. The Son is God. But Jesus Christ is saying in John 17, 3, that they might know the only true God, eternal life. You want paradise. Your daughter, inshallah, has paradise. Yeah, paradise. Yeah? For eternal life, you must believe the only true God. And Jesus Christ, he was sent. He didn't say he's God. Jesus Christ never taught Trinity. He come in flesh. God sent him in flesh. Madam, madam, madam. My apologies, I'm raising my voice. Yeah? Why you believe me, believe in that, yeah? I don't believe in Trinity. I don't believe Jesus is God. I don't believe the Holy Spirit is God. I believe in God the Father. I don't like using the word Father, but for the sake of this conversation. God in heaven, the Lord. Jesus Christ who thou has sent, the messenger, the Holy Spirit, the angel Gabriel, who done the power, has the power. 
fulfilled the commandments of God, showed Allah God's power. And the comforter is the Prophet Muhammad. Because in your own scripture, you believe the Holy Spirit was always there. It was... So then, Jesus Christ left. The Prophet Muhammad came. Who? The Prophet Muhammad, yes. Peace be upon all of them, yes. Yes, a mighty messenger who done miracles by the permission of God. Kings come and go. Who, who, who? In, in Moses' time, you have kings. In David's time, you have kings. Kids or kings? I can't hear you. Kings. Ruler, like rule the son. God yeah. give them the gift. But he take it back when they brought the law. So I tell you, so we are not in the law again. And one, in, a, in a those time, if you do something, you're dead. If a woman commits adultery, she's dead. You understand? You know that too. Uh, we will know the truth when God comes. Madam, do you believe the Bible is the unchanged word of God? Well, or has the Bible been corrupted, man-made elements gone into it? Listen me, a lot of things in this world corrupted already. But <coughs> you just want to read the part where you know it's true. How do you know what's true, madam? Because I know my God. If you know the Bible has been changed, the, 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 the right why don't you read the book what that is, hasn't been changed? Right, what is the right Bible? <coughs> the Hebrew Bible is the right Bible. Madam, you know, sir, sir, salam alaikum. What is the right Bible? Yeah, for example, you have the Russian Orthodox Bible with the... Uh, you have King James, innit? Uh, King, yours is King James's version. You don't want to talk? No, 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 Mr. Okay, no. Yours is King James's version of the Bible. Okay, did you know that uh, the King James's version of the Bible was first published in the year 1611, when, during the reign of King James, all right? And uh, what they did was, they took out seven books, which they said was apocrypha. Apocrypha means unreliable. Apocrypha means hidden, okay? They took out seven books from the Bible. Why they said apocrypha? And uh, that's why uh, now they got a Bible with 66 books from the year 1611, Christian era. And uh, the Catholics in whose uh, Bible, those seven books are still there, okay? The Catholic Bible has 73 books, but they haven't taken those out. And then there's a Russian Orthodox Bible with 86 books. There's a, you know, beautiful country in Africa, Ethiopia, known as, uh, used to be known as Abyssinia, Habasha, Ethiopia. Their Orthodox Bible has 81 books. Then the Greek Orthodox Bible has 78 books. The Coptic Egyptian Christian Bible has 75 books and other different Bibles as well. So in other words, our Holy Quran, 114 Surah chapters. From the beginning to the end is same everywhere. You pick up the Holy Quran anywhere, it is same, okay? Same number of uh, surah chapters, same number of words, uh, same number of surah, you know, but the Bible is so many different, different number of books. The Christians are not united and they all, you know, when, when a Greek preacher picks up his Orthodox Bible, he says, this is the Bible, this is the book of God, the one with 78 books. The Russian preacher will pick up his and he says, this is the true Bible, this is the book of God. That's the Bible with 86 books, and so on. So what would you say to that? Uh, why different Bibles? Do you think yours is the true one, the well, Protestant Bible? When, when, when I understand, I read in it, and it's true. So you believe that? I read it. Yeah. And you must know what is true from wrong. But can read by and come see. Yeah. So, so when God comes, yeah. he will tell us the truth. When God comes, are you talking about Jesus? Jesus is God's son. Oh, so, uh, did you say Jesus is God's son? God's son. But Jesus was the son of Mary. Yeah. 
So how can the son of a woman, Mary, God, be that put that baby now when she was a virgin? Yeah. Yeah. So you say it's God's son. That's why you say it's God's son. Yeah. But you know, according to the Bible, it says that uh, you know there's a genealogy of Jesus in the Gospel according to Matthew. It was a prophet. And in the Gospel according to Luke, it gives the genealogy of Jesus. And the Father's name it gives is not God. It says Jesus. Then on top of Jesus, uh, it says uh, you know Joseph the carpenter. So according to the genealogy of Jesus, in the Gospel according to Matthew, Gospel according to Luke, it says that Joseph is the father of Jesus. Do you think that's true? Well, it's not, it's not Joseph, it's not his father. So why would they because give... Iban, as Iban, yeah. she never have intercourse. Yeah, yeah, him. well, uh, yeah, not not normal yeah, child is born, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but why would the Bible say that uh, Joseph the carpenter is the uh, stepfather of Jesus? Because Mary and, him is, Mary and him married after. Do you believe Jesus was God? But he's God's son. So, okay, thank you. So you believe Jesus is son of God, yeah. but you don't believe Jesus was God himself. Well, the problem is, yeah. we have three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus, Who are the three? When Jesus got up in heaven, yeah. he's at the right hand as his Father right now. Okay, so did you say that Jesus is at the right hand of his Father, God? So Jesus is at the right hand of God. So are you saying that God... Jesus is at the right hand of God. That makes two God. Doesn't it? That's right. His son is near. Jesus is the son and God is God. So did you say His Jesus? Father. So did you say Jesus is son of God? Yes. So is Jesus God himself? I want to see, um, I think so. You think I so? Sent he come in the flesh. Yeah, but okay. Did you say Jesus came in the flesh? Yeah. Okay. Now, is God always God? We Muslim believe Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is God. He's always God. Okay. He's always God. Okay. Now, was Jesus always God? Yeah. Was Jesus always God? Jesus is a prophet. So he's not God. He's not God. He might be father, but he's God's son. God doesn't have a son. Because Bible says in the genealogy of Jesus... You know what Bible says? God in our Bible. Hmm? It's in the Holy Bible. It's in your Bible, yeah. The, the genealogy of but Jesus. Never read your Bible one day. Okay, now we have the Holy Quran. You can take a copy from there. Uh, you can give it, no problem. Uh, that's uh, our Holy Quran in English. Never read your Bible. Translation, yeah. Okay. And remember, our Holy Quran anywhere everywhere is one and the same my daughter was a muslim your do have, what's that i have two nevelies are muslim now yeah okay and they are them talk yeah 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 we don't we don't we don't but um fight against people religion yeah believe in her yeah because if it's all of us is serving the one god yeah it's one god yeah uh, Jesus said, yeah. when, as when he was reading to me, so Jesus said, why you call me good? Don't go, don't go, one good is God. Yeah. So Jesus said, why do you call yeah. me good? Yeah. Uh, okay. Only God is good. Only God is good. So that means Jesus is not good. I mean, that means he was good, but he was a prophet. That means Jesus wasn't God. That's what he meant. You know? So he's not God. It's simple. Anybody who is born cannot be the Almighty. Anybody who is born, human, any son of a woman, any son of a father is a human. What about um, Adam without a father or mother? He was human. What he about Adam? Adam, yeah. He had no father, he had no mother, but he was a human. He is our forefather. But the God Almighty created him. He was the first human. Okay, now all of us human beings, we are from Adam and Eve, Adam and Hawa. Okay, now let me tell you, you know, 
God's book cannot have mistakes. Do you agree with that? Yes. God's book cannot have mistakes. All right. Oh, yeah, different Bible, no, different, different. Bible. Yeah, because, because the Christians don't agree with each other. They have different Bibles with different number of books. But our Holy Quran is the same everywhere. Why? Let me tell you why. It's a big miracle. When our Holy Quran was being revealed more than 1400 years ago, Allah says in our Holy Quran, in Surah Al Kaf, the cave, Surah chapter number 18, ayah verse number 27, part of that verse, Allah said, La Mubadila Li Kalimati. Our Holy Quran was revealed in Arabic. Okay, so Allah said, La Mubadila Li Kalimati. In English, no one will be able to change my word. In other words, the Holy Quran, Allah said, when it was being revealed more than 1400 years ago, Allah said, no one will be able to change my word. So that's why the Holy Quran in any continent, in any country, in the hands of any Muslim, in a public library, in a Muslim place, in a masjid, our Holy Quran is one and the same. But the Christian, so confusing. I'm not trying to insult Christians. No, like it's, it's the reality. So much confusion, Catholic Bible, no, I mean, no, Protestant I mean, Bible. I don't believe in a different thing. Yeah. Catholic, yeah. Some Catholic church believe in a yeah. two man, two woman. I mean, I in a yeah. So you don't believe Jesus was God, yeah? Jesus was God's son. But he wasn't God, yeah? No, God sent him to help us die for us. Yeah, but you know, in your Bible, it even says of other prophets, it mentioned that they were sons of... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me tell you, let me tell you. In the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 3, verse 38, it says, Adam, son of God. And then in the second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verse 14, it says, David, son of God. Yeah, it said that, yeah. So that means, uh, yeah. So if in the Bible it says that David is son of God, it doesn't mean David was God himself. No, no. And in the Bible, if it says Adam was the son of God, it doesn't, yeah. Okay, can I tell you what, you know, in the, in the Bible, it's got so many mistakes. For example, you know Benjamin, Benjamin, who is the brother of Joseph, yeah? We have uh, Surah Yusuf in our Holy Quran, yeah? Okay. He is, yeah, it says, Benjamin, in the first book of Chronicles, in the Old Testament, first book of Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 6, it says that three sons of Benjamin. Who are they? It says, the first one is Bela, B-E-L-A, -E A. And the second son's name is Becker, that's B-E-K-E-R. And the third son's name is Jediel, that's J-E-D-I-A-E-L. In the first book of Chronicles, chapter seven, verse six, these are the three sons of Benjamin. But in the same book, First book of Chronicles, the next chapter, which is chapter 8, verse 1, it says, it gives the names of five sons of Benjamin. Who are they? Number one, Bala, who is also mentioned in the chapter 7, verse 6. And the second son's name is Ashmel, who is not mentioned in the first book of Chronicles, chapter 7. And the third son's name is Ahara, A-H-A-R-A-H. Now this son's name is not mentioned in the previous chapter 7. And the fourth son's name is Noha, N-O-H-A-H. Even this son's name is not mentioned in the previous chapter, chapter 7, verse 6. And the fifth son's name is Rafa, R-A-P-H-A. And even this son, is not mentioned in the previous chapter, chapter 7, verse 6. So, so in the first book of Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 6, it says, Bala, 
बैकर जडी आय ओके बट इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर फर्स्ट बुक ऑफ क्रॉनिकल चैप्टर एट वर्स वन इट मैंशन बैला बाय इट डज नॉट मैंशन बैकर और जडी आय who are mentioned in the previous chapter first book of chronicle chapter 7 verse 6 but in the next chapter first book of chronicle chapter 8 verse 1 both bakar and jadiyal are not mentioned but different names are mentioned bela ashbal ahara noha rafa so how can this bible be the book of god and yet it have mistakes I tell you, I'll give you a verse in the Bible, in every Christian Bible, in the New Testament, and I thank you very much for your patience. Okay, in the, in every Christian Bible, in the New Testament, in the second book of Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen, in the Bible it says, "All Scripture is God breathed, that is inspired of God, inspired by God." so according to this verse the bible which you christians say is the book of god is supposed to be inspired by god yes because it's called the book of god yeah you christians say the bible is the book of god yeah so it's supposed to be the inspired book of god yeah is part of god and is useful for teaching rebuking correcting and training in righteousness I believe this was that's true. If it is the book of God, then it should be useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Second book of Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen. Now, here I gave you these two verses. Same book, first book of Chronicle. First example, chapter seven, verse six: three sons of Benjamin. And the second example was the next chapter, same book, first book of Chronicle, chapter eight, verse one. So, did Benjamin have three sons, or did he have five sons? This is supposed to be Bible is supposed to be the book of God. So, how can a big mistake like this? you know that's why i tell you the christians when they deeply read the bible questions arise doubts arise how can this be the book of god right the bible is right the bible different writers and some of these writers they don't even know who they were you know that's why you have different bibles with different number of books even they don't agree the russians will say their bible with the russian orthodox bible with 86 books that's the true bible when i'm Jama- when i was in jamaica yeah yes to the right bible was K- was there kingston jamaica yeah wow yes yeah. to the right bible was maccabi bible which one maccabi okay maccabi okay you mentioned maccabi let me tell you did you know that uh, when in the year 1811 they published the king james's version of the bible which was the first protestant bible published when in the year 1611 and did you know when the first english bible was published same in the year 1611 before that bibles used to be in latin in a different language so the first english version of the bible was the king james's version of the bible first published in the year 1611 that's the first time they published an english version of the bible okay and what they did when they took out the seven books and the king james's version of the bible was published with 66 books did you know they took out the first book of maccabees and also the second book of maccabees because the first book of maccabees and the second of book of maccabees is still there in the catholic bible but taken out of the protestant bible but let me tell you something you know in the different bible i have given you in the greek orthodox bible 
We're talking about Book of Maccabees, which are the books in certain Bibles, okay? Okay, so the Book of Maccabees has been taken out, the first Book of Maccabees, second Book of Maccabees have been taken out, were not put in the Protestant Bible, taken out. Why? They say Apocrypha, unreliable, hidden. All right, now, let me tell you, in the Greek Orthodox Bible, which has 78 books, did you know, in the Greek Orthodox Bible, they have first book of Maccabees, they have second book of Maccabees, they have third book of Maccabees, and they have fourth book of Maccabees. So in Catholic Bible, how many book of Maccabees? First book of Maccabees, second book of Maccabees, two books of Maccabees. But in the Greek Orthodox Bible, they have four book of Maccabees. Now, in the Russian Orthodox Bible, and remember Greek Orthodox Bible has 78 books. In the Russian Orthodox Bible, which has 86 Bible, 86 books in total. In the Russian Orthodox Bible, they have first book of Maccabees, second book of Maccabees, third book of Maccabees, but no fourth book of Maccabees. So can you imagine, in your Protestant Bible, both first book of Maccabees, second book of Maccabees taken out. In the Greek Orthodox Bible, there are four books of Maccabees. First, second, third, fourth. But in the Russian Orthodox Bible with 86 books, they have first book of Maccabees, second book of Maccabees, third book of Maccabees. There is no fourth book of Maccabees. You know, what would you say to that? It's so confusing, isn't it? Some man write the Bible. And they are supposed to be like, you know, the check out more saddest stuff out there, isn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, there's another verse. In the first book of Corinthians, which is in the New Testament, in every Christian Bible. In the first book of Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 33. In the Bible it says, God is not the author of confusion. This verse is in the Bible, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That God cannot be the author of confusion. No, no. And you are a Christian, you agree with me, yeah? So how comes, if the Bible is the book of God, then first book of Maccabees, second book of Maccabees taken out from the Protestant Bible. Yeah, I don't want to keep repeating myself, you know. They don't agree. Bible, yeah. 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 And did you know, in the, did you know in the Greek Orthodox Bible, in the Russian Orthodox Bible, in the Ethiopian Orthodox Bible, they also have a book by the name of the Book of Susanna. That's a girl's name, woman's name. S U S A. Double N A, Susanna. So in the Greek Orthodox Bible, they have the book of Susanna. In the Russian Orthodox Bible, they have the book of Susanna. But in the Ethiopian, in the Ethiopian Orthodox Bible, they have the book of Susanna. But not in your Protestant Bible. They took it down. Why? So what about John? They believe in John? Uh, that's the gospel according to John. Yeah, the four Gospels, they are there. Uh, gospel according to Matthew, Gospel according to uh, Mark, Gospel according to Luke, Gospel according to John. Those four Gospels are there. Yeah. But nowhere in the Bible, any of these different Bibles, nowhere does Jesus say that He's God. Can you show me any verse in the Bible where it says, where Jesus said he's God? He never said he's God. Did you know, would you agree, would you agree that Jesus was sent by God? So did God send God? No. God sent a prophet, yes? And that prophet was Jesus, yes? You are right, why? Because, <clears throat> did you know even Jesus called himself a prophet? In the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 37, chapter, in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verse 57, Jesus calls himself 
a prophet without honor in his own hometown. So if Jesus calls himself a prophet, I believe that that's true, he was a prophet. No more, no less. So in other words, Jesus never said he's God. He said he's a prophet without honor in his own hometown. Jesus never said he's God. So why is it Christians say that Jesus is God? And then they say, Jesus died. And then Christians say, God is almighty. So what Jesus almighty as God? Then when he's on the cross, he died. He was arrested, arrested by the Roman soldiers. Can you believe God Almighty can be arrested by Roman soldiers, by creation? Can the creator God Almighty be arrested by his creation? You know, many Christians say Jesus created everything. Why? They say he's God. So you ask them, did Jesus create the Roman soldiers? They say yes. So did Jesus create those Roman soldiers to, when they grow up, join the Roman army, arrest Jesus, tie him up, tie him up to the cross, kill him, crucify him? So can you as a Christian believe that Jesus, who was God, was crucified, was killed? Can you believe that as a Christian? Pardon? Jesus is a prophet sent by God. Right, you are right. I'm a Muslim. We say he was a prophet. No more, no less. But Why? According to our Holy Quran, in Surah Ali Imran, family of Imran. Who is Imran? The father of Maryam, Mary. In Surah Al Maida, the table square, Surah chapter number five. And there is a whole Surah Maryam. All right. Mary. Which is a Surah chapter number nine. Right.